What is going on guys? Carlos here from Live Grim in Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we are doing a hidden shrine inside of a cave in near the Lurulin village. So very, very close. Exactly where I'm showing it to you right now. This one is really well hidden. So you have to swim into the cave. There's like an opening. And uh, I mean, like you can get a raft and you can uh, get a fan and things, but it, but there's nothing that I've seen around here uh, that you can use. But swimming, I mean, you only need about, even if you go fast, about one wheel of stamina, roughly, maybe a little bit more. But if you go slowly, yeah, probably a, a wheel of stamina. So if you've got a li very, very little stamina, might be difficult, but uh, otherwise it should be okay. Right, if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's play some Tears of the Kingdom. Right, so as you come in here, you'll see one of one of these horror blinds. And uh, I tried to uh, burn that, uh, those, you know, that barrier over there. Because it's raining here all the time, it's very humid. It was very difficult and uh, the fire didn't set. So... Um, the thing that I that that worked for me was um, asking uh, the Riju to uh, get that kind of like um, lightning power and um, just shoot an arrow and that will break everything. But I mean, there should be weapons that will break this, but look, as you can see, like a stick is not going to do the the, the job. So it's better to just ask Riju if you've got her, and then look as you as soon as you throw like shoot an arrow. That's it, the barriers come down. And you can do that all the way down because there's going to be a couple more barriers uh, along the way. So there's there's one more in here. So just ask Riju again for for the power because it's uh, because not even fire arrows or arrows with a fire element are going to help you here. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, one of those uh, bolder kind of like swords or sticks uh, should be okay but when you get in here you see two of these guys in here I just avoided them you know I didn't want to fight them because they take quite a little a little a lot of time to do so I just thought um, I'm just going through it without having to defeat them uh, there's a bomb uh, flower here I was really handy to have I didn't try bombs I uh, hopefully bombs will work but I don't have many, so uh, so I didn't try it. When you get down here, you see a book of bean skeleton. Just get rid of it, and uh, very very easy. It's not very difficult at all. And then you see that there's like some planks in here. You just have to grab them and put them on to the left there in the water. Uh, under that, uh, there's like a platform above it, and uh, break what's inside of the box because I think there's going to be some arrows in here. Arrows are always very very uh, welcome. Uh, I should have got one of those ones. There, there you go. There's only one arrow actually, so not much. If you want to leave it, just leave it. So then, just jump over to the plank in here, and uh, we're going to climb on top of it. And we're going to use our ascent power to get to the top platform, so we can go and get to the shrine. Uh, and then the shrine is not very far away from here. And obviously, the shrine there's nothing to do in this shrine uh, because you know getting there is the tricky bit. As you're going up, you get another two of these guys, and they've got like boulders, these ones, so they can be deadly. Just stick to the left on the first one, and do the same thing for the next one. And uh, just if you can just keep on running, they won't be able to hit you like I did just now. So that's it. This is the, the shrine in here. It's the Bamitok Shrine. And when you go inside, you just have to get um, the Light of Blessing, and it's Raru's Blessing, or Raru's... Yeah, Rubber's Blessing. And this is the location of it, right here, uh, Mount Doncel. And um, yeah, you should be able to get there without much trouble, you know. It's more like the beginning to try to find this shrine, because it took me a very long time uh, to work out where it was. I knew it was in the area, but I just didn't know exactly where it was. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. If you'd like to know how I make my YouTube videos or how I work with video, audio, editing, uh, thumbnails and things like that, you can become a member. And there's going to be some videos just for members uh, that explain how to do that. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.